everybody and welcome back to my channel so it is Friday well for me it's probably not gonna be Friday when you guys are watching this but it is Friday and that means it is grocery haul day so today I went to my local grocery store and I also went to Aldi I'm also planning a trip to Trader Joe's so you guys might have like a bonus grocery video so if you guys are new to my channel we are a family of four that lives on a $400 a month grocery budget for our household items and all of our food. Throughout the month of September, we were gone for about eight days of it. And so we have only spent $67, that is a haul. I did not film and you guys will not see. Um, whenever we came home from vacation, I went and got some stuff. So today I spent $72 at my local grocery store and I'm not sure, it was definitely more than I normally spend in a week. But I had some really, really great coupons. I did film a clip before I went to the grocery store and used the coupons. I'm going to insert that here and then let me jump right into the haul and show you what I got. So as you can see here, they send a whole bunch of coupons that are super good. Dollar off of two, but the ones that I really like are the $8 off of an $80 purchase. These ones are like three off 10, a dollar off chicken breast, free Chex Mix. $2 off of a $5 like chip purchase. So as you can see, they have like a ton of coupons. I even have, a, but I do really like to use these coupons because it's super simple and I know like exactly, it doesn't really have like size restrictions and stuff on cheers. these type of coupons. Guys, okay, so this is what I got at my local grocery store. Again, I spent $72 and I think 10 cents. I'll show you the receipt after I show you the haul. So we needed juice boxes. Um, these had, were on sale and then they had like a little one of those sticky peely things here. I don't normally seek out manufacturer's coupons, but if they are there, I will use them. And so we got the berry lemonade and then I think this is like a berry um, blend, fruit punch blend. So two boxes of those. There was a dollar off of chicken breast, the nature's basket kind, in a mailer that I got that I just showed you guys. So I got a pound of their sliced, like thin sliced chicken breast. Roasts were buy one, get one free. So I got two bottom round roasts. Um, one is like over two pounds and one is right around two pounds. And so that'll make about three dinners for us. I'll do roast carrots and potatoes. I'll do roast beef and cheddars, and then I'll do like a shredded beef taco. Then I got some ground beef. I am making a taco pizza for our church group tonight, and so I needed ground beef for that. Then my local grocery store was having this buy 10 items, get the 11th item free sale, and so we got a lot of treats. This whole entire grocery haul was like a lot of treats, but we really have no food in the house, um, and so... I wanted to just kind of stock up. So all of this here was included in the buy 10, get the 11th free. So I got some of these pizzas. I am working all week next week and I thought this would be easy to, for like my mom or my grandma, whoever's watching the kids to feed my little guy for lunches. So two of those. I got a brownie mix, um, church group, like I said, it's starting up again and we are always bringing something every week. So I like to keep some type of like boxed mix on hand. So in case I forget to like prepare something, I can just throw up, like throw in some brownies. Two things of this Ken's dressing. Now I do like all these dressing, but honestly I prefer Ken's. I mean, I'll eat whatever, but the this farmhouse ranch is my favorite. So I got a farmhouse ranch and an Italian. A box of rotini pasta. I actually got three Lunchables. This is not a normal buy for us, but they were part of the deal and my son loves them and enjoys them and it's like gonna be a huge treat, but my little guy is eating one of them right now. I got two pasta sauces, a tomato basil and a meatless pasta sauce. And so that is what I got for that. Then these fruit snacks were on sale for like $1.49. Again, I had a child with me and that is how we got pumpkin brownies. I don't like anything Little Debbie. Ugh, I just don't like them at all, but my kids will love them and think that they're wonderful. This was on clearance for $1. It is the Mama Rosie's Ricotta Cavite. I don't even know how to say that. Cavatelli. And so I thought that that with some pasta sauce, easy dinner. This pizza crust is going to be for the taco pizza I'm making for church group. Two things of potatoes. Um, the gold potatoes are going to go in our roast with potatoes and carrots. And then some red potatoes for some mashed potatoes. 
a couple of peaches. Uh, my son really likes these. I'm not a huge fan, but I thought I would get some for him. Ice cream was buy one, get one free, and I had a coupon, so we got chocolate Kit Kat and chocolate chip cookie dough. This is like, you'll see, I am pumpkin everything, and I love Count Chocula cereal, so this is something I will definitely be buying until Halloween. It is has zero nutritional value, but I love it. K-Cups were on sale for $5.99, so I grabbed some of the Starbucks breakfast blend. These crackers, I was looking for something different for my hummus. I'm just kind of getting tired of pretzel things um, from Aldi, and so I went with the sea salt and olive oil crackers. These were on sale. They are the apple cherry, like, applesauce pouches. Again, I asked my little guy's input because he was with me, and he said yes to those. Some milk because I need milk for my cereal. Um, I got, this was free with one of the coupons. We got chocolate Chex Mix. I know, like, how much junk? Do we need mint waffles? We got Mickey waffles, and we also got cinnamon waffles. Uh, the kids love these for breakfast. Two things, uh, one shampoo, one conditioner. Uh, my grocery store always has good deals on shampoo and conditioner, and there was a coupon in that mailer for like $2 off if you bought two. Great deal. Um, I really like the herbal essence stuff, and so I picked that up. Oh, then the salty snacks. This grocery haul just keeps getting healthier, right? Uh, puffed like the Hollis cheddar popcorn, honey barbecue for my husband, and rip ridges to take to community group with some chip dip that I already had that I bought that I didn't have any potato chips for, and so there you go. I had like three dollars off of a purchase of five dollars salty snacks. I also got a thing of Charmin toilet paper. I think that. You know, I'm going to eventually get a Sam's Club membership, but for right now, I'm just buying it at the grocery store when I have coupons or when it's on sale there. So that is what I got from Giant Eagle. Let me show you the receipt, and then I'll jump into the Aldi portion of my haul. Okay, so at Aldi, I got the oat and flax oatmeal, a can of olives, some blueberry cereal bars. Apparently, we are going to eat these again because we used to eat them, and then we were off of them, and now... I guess we're back on them. Some popcorn for when we have movie nights and some mini muffins. I got one roll of paper towel. I should be good on paper towels um, to get me through like the next week to week and a half and I just wanted to make sure that I didn't run out. And so I got that. A head of lettuce. I need to shred this up for on top of the taco pizza. Some sour cream and cream cheese for the base of the taco pizza. These turkey sausage sticks, my son is really liking these for his lunches. I also got some quinoa and brown rice, like the microwavable pouch. I thought that would be nice to go with the chicken that I bought um, for dinners. Some goldfish crackers. I got a bag of lettuce, some taco style shredded cheese, strawberries, uh, some baby carrots. These baby carrots were expensive. Not really sure why. Normally they're like 69 cents at my Aldi and they were like $1.49 or something. Crazy like that. Some mozzarella sliced cheese. Some organic mild taco mix. Sometimes taco mix kind of like upsets my stomach and so I'm hoping since this one doesn't have like any MSG or anything in it that it will be better. Two of the toasted coconut and vanilla yogurts. Some grape tomatoes. Some bananas. Bananas were 33 cents. Did I say bananas already? I don't know. But we got some bananas. Uh, sharp cheddar cheese to chunk up and use with the sausages for Lunchables. Some classic hummus. These Hawaiian sweet rolls were a dollar off because I think they expire in like two days. But I will freeze half of them. Half of them will be with our roast carrots and potatoes. We'll have rolls with butter and some salad. And the other half I'm gonna use for sandwiches for my son's lunch is something different. And a loaf of whole grain white bread. I also ran into Target really quick and got some of these chocolate Z bars and some of these Kind bars for my lunches. Um, I am working, I don't, did I already say this, that I'm working all week? Next week, well, four days compared to my normal two days. And so I like to have like an afternoon snack and these are at least way better than like candy bar or chocolate or something. So that is what I got from Aldi. The stuff from Target was like $8. Um, the stuff from Aldi was 42 ish Let me show you my receipts. 
I don't know why they insist on like putting my city all over the receipt um, and I really don't want that out there and so this is what I spent at the local grocery store that is the receipt there I spent $72.51 at Aldi I spent $43.29 and like I said around $9 at Target so like I said earlier guys there was a grocery haul for the month of September that you did not see I am going to take today's total for the week and insert it here and then I'm going to go ahead and add together that grocery haul that you did not see and put my whole total for the month right here so as you can see we are way on budget I am hoping to either place a Walmart order or get to Trader Joe's this weekend to just stock up on some things like I like to go to Trader Joe's like once every three months and just depends on how our weekend plays out whether or not I'll be able to get there but we are definitely doing good for the month of September on our grocery budget because we really haven't bought many groceries. Um, I do have a two-week menu plan that I'm going to share in another video. And, but right now, I'm just going to go ahead and get this stuff put away. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and stick around for lots of fall videos coming up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.